All right, we're back with Jason Cohen, uh, newest uh, member of the uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, Jason, tell us some of the great plays you've played with uh, and some of the fond memories you've had of the league over these 20 years. You're putting me on the spot. I don't know what I had for lunch yesterday, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I played with, the truth is, over 20 years, I mean, I, yeah, I played with the best, you know, from uh, Jackie Hattie to Eddie Beta, Pachotto, Charlie Saka, Red, Puka. Uh, I don't think I ever played with Nathan. Uh, Raz, I played with Elliot, Jackie, Richie. Mitchell had it, Amy wow. Dweck. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of good players over the years. As a matter of fact, your last year in the league, 2007, you were on Elliot Braz's team, Smack Pack, and lost in the World Series. That was a very good team. They probably should have won the World Series uh, up two nice. games to none yeah, and lost three CD? games. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, you know, that was definitely. Uh, so tell us, since you retired, what have you been up to now in the last few years? Doing a little golfing, some tennis, you know, a little this and that. Now you say you're not retired though, so when when are you coming back? Well, my daughter's pushing me to come back next year, so uh, yeah. we'll see if that happens. Now that she's a little older, uh, you know, I think I'm thinking about uh, making a comeback next year. Well, tell us uh, physically how you're feeling, because you always have the shoulder problems and uh, I'm gonna go for back some, problems. And I'm going to go for some off-season surgery on the shoulder, and uh, I'm intending on coming back and playing center next year. Wow, wow, so you get latest scoop. and. Uh, we also got word that uh, your brother Buka is uh, planning to come back next year. Is, uh, yeah, I heard that through the grapevine. Yeah. <laughs> now, is he eligible for the Hall of Fame now? Is he out three years? No, he's out two years. Oh, so, okay. Because uh, you, know, you have two brothers, Elliot, Jackie, Raha. I think those are the only brothers yeah. now that are in the Hall right. of Fame. Right. If so. he stays, uh, well, according to Sammy Tal, he's also Hall of Fame, Sammy Nathan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but you got Elliot Braha said he's coming back. Yeah. You got uh, Jason's coming back, Buka. Yeah. Uh, Maurice DeCarri says he's coming back. Now, these guys are running a lot well, of We're going to need 10-12 teams. Well, I don't know what Maurice can and, and Buka are running TSN. Well, they're yeah. going to have to nominate someone else because uh, their own careers are coming. Jack Zolt is coming back. Oh, wow. All in the next one to three years. Hopefully these guys like. still can get jobs when they get back because it's so. a young man's <laughs> league now, you know. Well, definitely. Yeah. Center field especially. We have Jack Abadi, uh, Jackie Towell, yeah. uh, Amy Cohen. Cohen. He's a very young, fast center fielder, so uh, they're going to have to compete for jobs. Yeah. Just tell them to hold the spot. Cool. You got it. <laughs> so Jason, tell us uh, who's going to, anybody in mind to induct you into the Hall of Fame? Or? I have a couple of names in mind, but uh, I'm not going to divulge that right now. Okay. The guys I'm thinking about. Uh, something that's uh, a little not known is how I first got into the league. I actually came into the league recruited by Red Nessa. Picked me up off of the, the Kitty League yeah. when we were playing with Aviatus at the time. And By the way, Red uh, used to spend a lot of time with Kitty League. Yeah, we couldn't understand why, but he, he was there a lot. He was there very often. And, uh, Clearly actually, recruiting for the YMSL, his own team, of course. <laughs> I took the place of Nemo Xiaomei. Wow. That's one thing I'll never forget. As a catcher, what was he? He was playing, I think he was playing right or left field. Nemo Xiaomei was a catcher. Well, I remember that, yeah. That was my first year of the league when I was 15. Didn't know. All I knew was I was playing with old men. That's right. all I knew about yeah, and actually, those days it was probably 12 teams in the league. If uh, if it's peaked, there was 12 teams, 12, 14 teams. It might have been you know wow. two divisions. It was yeah, they have Dow Avenue morning afternoon uh, sessions. It was uh, those days they allowed alcohol on the field. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, actually a lot of Charlie Sackers teams came up before the game started. Uh, right, took that, that upon himself instead of after the game. Um, but uh, it should be a very exciting. Uh, uh, event this Sunday night. Actually, let's uh, tell our viewers again. Uh, Sunday night, July 11th, starting 5 o'clock Eastern Time. 7 11. At the Towel uh, Spa. Uh, we're going to be having the 2010 uh, Awards Dinner and the Hall of Fame inductee, Jason Cohen. Uh, so, everybody come. We'll be a little barbecue and uh, a lot of great awards uh, Gold Glove, Sportsmanship, MVP, Fan of the Year. Commercial uh, of the year. Commercial of the year. Right. Uh, best female fans. Um, There's going to be some else? videos, highlights, videos, all kinds of extra action. And, uh, I think it should be a great night. It's uh, you know you got to come here and get early, get here early, and uh, it should be a great event. And uh, what time is that again? It's uh, five o'clock. Is uh, you know, we'll be serving five. And hopefully, the first award by five thirty, five forty-five. Uh, first, we do the uh, hand out the trophies to the championship team, which we don't know yet. 
and uh, then we follow the Hall of Fame uh, ceremony, and then the Gold Glove, uh, followed by, uh, you know, and the night off with the MVP. And again, any time you have uh, presenters like Swami and uh, Hurdle, and uh, who else you got? You name yeah, the Ray few. Day, Ray Day, Davy <laughs> Jaws Dweck. Um, you know, it's a who's who. Uh, you know. Right. All right. We're still trying to get in touch with Peaches to see if he'll present an award. Claudia like Braha, like. actually, we have. Oh, nice. Claudia nice. Braha. Um, you know, I'm sure. Uh, you know, we got a couple of. Yeah, last year, we might add. Uh, Richie Braha made one of the best speeches that brought a tear to everybody's eye. I'm sure yeah. you saw the video of that last mm -hmm, year. Yeah. Uh, it was a ten-minute speech that was completely uh, off the cuff, actually, not, nothing written, and it was uh, hopefully be duplicated again this year. Well, that's the thing at the award ceremony. You never know what you're going to get. You have to be here to see it. Yeah. And uh, we're expecting a huge crowd. Tickets are available on Ticketmaster. Yes. Uh, we urge people not to buy. From the secondary market, people are trying to make a lot of money off these tickets. Buy directly from YMSL or from Ticketmaster. I'll tell you, if Ali Marshall loses on Sunday and he's got to show up here two, three hours after a World <laughs> Series loss, I don't know what's going to go on uh, at this barbecue. At well, this awards listen, dinner. What else he's not going to be a happy camper, that's for sure. Well, they, it's just no different than what went on the rest of the year. The U.S. Marshals will continue their fight over here. And, uh, right. the dad It'll be a here. slugfest in the pool body. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that'll definitely be a, a more jovial mood if, if he wins. But yeah. uh, you know, I'm sure uh, if he uh, get, walks home with a couple of awards, he'll be a happy camper as well. So, um, and that's it. So you heard it here. Uh, any closing words before we, uh, we get to game three? Jason, you had a chance to come watch the games the other day. Any predictions uh, for the rest of the series? Hey, I, got, uh, I got there pretty late, but uh, they look pretty good. They look pretty evenly matched. So with you. I, think, I have. I think. Uh, I don't think Ali's team's going to do it. So you go with Azer and the rest of the insane. Actually, you know, I think the other team should have been called insane. Though. Right. More apropos, but uh, I, I so we're still sticking with. Uh, I'm still sticking with Marshalls in, uh, in five. You said Marshalls yeah. originally. I, I said Marshalls. I'm sticking with that. And I'm sticking with insane also, especially after what I saw. They they lost a tough game in game one and came right back and and really won. In a more of a blowout than what the score indicated, so I like insane, um, possibly in four. You never know, though. Yeah. What's the what's the score in the series? One one. one. A pivotal game three. I, you know, I would say actually that, you know, Marshall's loses on Friday. I think it's going to be very difficult for them to sweep on Sunday. But isn't that guaranteed? Lose on Friday. Yeah, out of usually, the series. Uh, usually it's just like that. So. Uh, yeah. You know, so I, you're picking uh, insane to, to win the whole thing. So, but uh, it's probably a safe bet, uh, you know. They've been in first the whole year. They were the best team um, the whole regular season, the number one seed in the playoffs. No reason why they can't get it done now. You know, the other team is very hot. U.S. Marshals is hot. But a lot of gas going on on the sideline. Dash. Well, the past couple Marshalls. of years, the, the, the first seed hasn't even won the championship. Yeah, but these guys are just going right through the schedule. No problems, no hiccups. They're just getting the job done. Yeah. And, uh, and again, I don't know if Dash is going to see any more playing time, so he could be another time bomb again on Friday. So, you know, it's uh, it's going to be very interesting to say the least. But uh, nonetheless, whoever wins, it was an unbelievable 2010 season. And, uh, you know, it was just uh, across the board, it was very competitive. So we look forward to having a great awards dinner. And that's it from uh, the towel spot resort and uh, we'll see you Sunday on Friday, Friday actually at the games. A full YMSL weekend ahead. <laughs>